company? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is also a conditional use request. Um, however, this is from the provisions of the Inner Perimeter Road Corridor Overlay District. Um, such a property is located at the northeast corner of Inner Perimeter and Hunt Road. It consists of seven and a half acres. It's two parcels, as you see outlined on the maps on the screen, which are also in your packet. Um, property is zoned M1. It currently has a trucking company, Gillespie Trucking. Um, the applicant has the property under contract for purchase um, to expand their operation um, and make this into a John Deere equipment dealer, um, I guess, in the rental service as well. Um, in your packet, of course, you have the maps. Um, the aerial image shows the existing building, uh, which is basically a warehouse with uh, bay doors and uh, sort of an open porch on the back. It has on-site uh, pavement, plus also uh, where trucks are parking. The proposal is to put in a display area for the heavy equipment for sales and rental to be visible from Interpremer Road and Hunt Road. Um, and then also is a dis uh, staging area to the north of the building. In your packet is the site sketch, which someone has sort of uh, sketched in these areas on top of a black and white aerial photo. Um, you, and if this is in your packet, it also gives the approximate dimensions of those areas. Uh, subject property looks like this from Hunt Road. This is looking north over the fence. Um, side of the building, many doors is that. And then this is the western driveway um, looking north up into the site. You see to the left there's already truck trailer parking. The applicant is proposing to improve that um, as a grass display area. Probably have to put down some materials under the grass so it can hold the heavy equipment and have it a little bit cleaned up and more visible from Interpremer Road. This is the corner of Hunt Road and Interpremer. And then this whole area is part of the Perimeter East Business Park. Um, some industrial uses, some of them more attractive to look at than others. But some of the surrounding properties, this is another trucking company, a property that to the south. This is the Big Noise Industrial um, Park main signage, but it's the Hunt properties on the west side of Interpremer. And then what they're proposing is something like this. This is from their Albany office, uh, where they have a nice lawn with heavy equipment um, on display. And then the front of the building looks like that. So I don't think they're proposing this exactly, but I think definitely an improvement over what is currently there. Uh, the applicants in their site sketch have given you dimensions and size areas for those display. Um, they have not engineered the site. Uh, I was talking with them even this afternoon. There's some things they need to do with driveways to allow the equipment to get in and out of the site more easily. So I wanted to give them some flexibility. So staff is recommending approval of this, uh, but with four conditions, and those are there listed on the cover page. And what I have done is rather than tie them specifically to a site plan that's really just a site sketch at this point, to give them the flexibility, I simply outline the square footage some of the dimensions of those areas that are a little bit larger than what they had proposed. Uh, rather than have separate display areas, one facing the inner perimeter, one facing Hunt Road, um, the idea is to allow just a total square footage area and then a cap on how much of the area can face inner perimeter. Um, the concern is not to have the entire inner perimeter road frontage as display area for outdoor use, but it's simply a portion of it. And that is typical of what we see in our commercial districts um, elsewhere in the city. So the conditions are there. We can go through those in detail, but we did talk about them at the work session. And that is the rationale that is behind them. The expiration date on this one would be three years from the date of approval. Um, the applicants are here. Um, I think we'd like to speak with you and we can have some questions for them. But for myself, I'd be glad to entertain any questions you may have for me. Mr. Chairman, questions for staff? I just got one quick question, Matt. Uh, I know that, again, you put on conditions, and I'm sure you spoke about this, but the uh, long perimeter road, you know, you, you got almost 615 feet across the front. You have to limit them to 250, so I suppose they're okay with that. Well, they were proposing 225, well, so I put a cap of 250. Yeah. And that's roughly half of the property. Um, part of that parcel to the north is wetlands, so that would be hard to, do, uh, to develop okay. anyway. Um, but that is really the combination of those two display areas that you see, plus filling the gap in between. Okay. Any questions? 
There being none, anywhere tonight wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor? Please state your name and address for the record, please. Good evening. My name is Tony Sanders. I represent uh, our here on behalf of the company, the Long And uh, thank you for the opportunity and be glad to answer any questions that you may have. Well, what is your just come. It's just going to be rental and sales. It would be a full service dealership, um, equipment, sales and rental, as well as, um, uh, as well as parts and services. Okay. Yes, what the, the remainder of the area of that is for the, y'all planning on developing that in any way at all? Or? Well, this, this is a, a we had a, a limited time in, in uh, surveys that was just the time and the of application. Most of the wood area that you see there is actually in here. Um, okay. There's, I would, I would um, estimate about three fourths of that wood area that you see is in here. The remaining portion of it is part of the city. It's a whole lot of wood area. Which is the northern part of the right. parcel. The area to the east, you can see in the area where it's yeah. nature already started clearing and getting wet. So, so Matt's giving you a three years on that just approval to we'll start something. Do you know? Timeline, just curious. Yes, sir. We um assuming that we uh, get the further approvals from uh, recommendations from this committee as well as from the uh, city. We feel like we'll be open for business after having we have recent slide recommendations to the property. Um, so we have to bid to to have a uh, parks department um, share with the bid as well as some improvements to the exterior of it, um, landscaping, etc. We think we'll be in. Any other questions? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Anyone here tonight wishing to speak against this request? Anyone wishing to speak against this request? Come forward. There being none, commissioners, any more discussion on this request amongst ourselves? There being none, I will take a motion at this time on this request. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Willis. Since I was found to be consistent with the comprehensive plan and the conditional use review criteria, I make a motion that we recommend approval to the city uh, subject to the following four conditions that's already been stated by Mr. Martin. So we have a motion from Commissioner Wells. Do I have a second? No, second. We have a second, Commissioner Hall. Any discussion on the motion and second, Commissioners? There being none, all in favor, please say kind of raise your right hand. Ms. Carmella, we're all in favor of, and Commissioner Folsom has accused himself of this. Okay. All right. Matt, one more request this evening. I believe it is 